Okay. Welcome back to Overlord Anime Review, episode number 20. Congratulations, series, for reaching 20 episodes. And next week is the final episode. That It's been confirmed that, yes, the next week's episode is the last one for the season, which kind of predicted that. Yep. Yeah. So, in the case of this week's episode, episode 51, Invasion of the Royal Capital, covering 39 pages of, well, mostly about 40 pages of a book 14, covering a little bit more of, I believe this was the fourth chapter book. It's not the ending of the book, per se. Uh, it's called Worldly Trap, this one is. <laughs> okay, it is pretty much in the way uh, the final chapter of the book, and my guess is because the fact they got that they basically started from depth, they finished that page, that page 382, and they got to uh, 282, and they, they got to 320, and that's as far as they got with it. You think, oh, that's about 39 pages, more like about 37 half pages, mostly, anyways. So we start off with Ains at the start of the episode where. You have him, Demiurge, and Shaltair getting a debriefing from Pandora's actor. And I'll bet all about the events of last episode. Where it's a very good discussion. And then, like, right after that, it's like, gotta go to the field. I almost forgot to mention last week, Kaikos was briefly seen last episode. Briefly. Yeah, he was actually seen just before, well, the fake Ainz battle Riku. Do I think we could buy pop next in uh, the final episode season? Who knows? We'll find out next week. So, then pretty much like right afterwards, then we have Kaikotis and Aura arriving at the royal capital. Well, just prior to that, we do see Princess Renair and Climb basically giving one last goodbye to the orphanage. And we also see them on the way back, like chatting for a bit, Bray Ugloss is on top, and then we have a meeting with the Blue Rose Knights, where they discuss the possibility about what happened with the Fen of the Capital. Oh, and by the way, um, uh, the character, um, I'm trying to think of her name, is the one of the voice by Con Clicker in the series, where at first she heard it was Muscle, and then she's finally heard by her actual name, because all they are like, yes. So, and then we have Brain and Trini leave the room because they ran out of tea. And so, oh yeah, possibly final meeting across the capital. And it then all of a sudden, something really odd happens. The members of Blue Rose Knight proceed to turn on their own leader. Yeah, Lucas gets stabbed with a bunch of needles. She gets beaten up by Gunhouse. And she gets weakened and put under brainwash control. And, of course, Princess Renair probably knew this would happen. But they would not do this for good reason. And the reason is because they actually didn't want to do any fighting. They actually wanted to leave. They actually did not want to do The whole thing of them fighting uh, the Defender of the Royal Capital, that was their leader's idea. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to survive. They wanted to protect their friend. So they ended up pretty much brainwashing their own friend just so they could leave. Brain is offered a chance, while well, they also get some sweets too, to go with him. She, he says no, and they go off, and they are, uh, for one member, I don't think they're in the rest of the book. They actually are absolutely in the rest of the book. And as of currently, at the of the book, yeah, they're actually um, are, are fugitives from the Sorcerer Kingdom. Yes, they're the Cloud Fugitives. So, right afterwards, and then Brain is out now, in the, now Brain hands off Gandalf's sword to climb, and Brain goes out to about the duel the sorcerer king Ainz though he doesn't find the Ainz I'll get to where they have Renair holding the sword briefly swing it and not really good hands back to climb and then proceed to go make preparations to go meet with her father and that's the last to see them for the episode they will be probably up next week I will be talking about that and then we have then we have the subkai codes where he's entering the city, freezing stuff, freezing soldiers. We see now. Here's the thing. Now what happens next with, with the book? They have Kaikotis confront Brain, but they switch the order around here because what happened? They, they put what happened after the particular scene before the whole thing of Brain, where you have Or climbing the wall. Yes, climbing the wall. Look around the place, being scared, and of course, some monsters climb the wall, ends up killing one of the guys. 
by the way, the guy is pretty much a mini T-Rex. I am not kidding, a mini T-Rex. So she finds the Magician's Guild, the books for his Wizard Guild. That I don't mind. That's fine. I have no problem with her with the Wizard's Guild in the book. And despite the fact that Yen Press, they're not basically changing stuff for stupid reasons. Case in point, calling the Sword King the Nation of Darkness. Or calling Bokemonga Chunga, the creator of Or and More, Boiling Teapot. Those are offensive, basically, uh, kind of dumb ideas the Empress did. But calling the Magician's Guild, the, the Wizard's Guild in the book, it's fine. I have no issue with that at all. So, then they, they go out basically to sort of some building. Now, it's a very brief scene. They actually kind of started this scene. But then they had to cut straight to the whole thing with Hycotus, Where he's just walking to the same brain, just sees him. Just walks very slowly up to him. Kaikotis sees him, tells this, the guy, people with him to stop. They don't move. And then, of course, Brain figures he should make the first move. There's also minor discussions involving other thoughts in their heads. They, they, they actually, like any inner thoughts, oh, like I would say about half the ones Brain had in the book, they were cut from the episode, but they kept the ones for this scene here where they were important. Where and they kind of basically had him speaking out loud for some reason. Instead of thinking in his head. Which, an odd choice, but it's the anime. What do you expect? They probably don't want to have the character think he has telepathy. That could be the reason why Madhouse did it. So, he discusses he should attack first. And before he attacks, basically he does introduce himself to Kyotis. He says, Brain Uglas. And he gives the common courtesy... By use of ser servant of the supreme one, Einzo Gon Kakotis. And he says, Thank you. No, thank you. You go to it. Yeah, it's a great moment. I mean, they're just introducing each other. Now, here's the thing Kakotis has never been this far, but he's never been in a human city ever in the history of the mm -hmm. franchise. Never been in the city before. And you have two characters who, part of this episode, never in attack before. Never. And you might be thinking, is that the fall of the anime cutting a scene from the book with these two attacked before? The answer is no. This is spot on from the book. These two have never met each other before. Never. In any of the books. Brain first showed up, I believe in book two. That's when he first showed up. And he's been sporadically appearing in the series since then. Like, usually appearing as a supporting character of the arcs. But the thing is, the only person, aside from Ainz, he's seen from the Swords of Kingdom is is Shaltier Bloodfall, which he counted her, her once in Season 2. After that, that was it. And this is the second uh, guard, this is probably the third floor guardian he's met in the series, because he's also met Albedo. Of course, that was just this season. So, he takes out, so he does his little slash that he did previously back in the first season of the show and briefly did in the second season of the show. Didn't do it much in season two. So they he's a slicer. And of course Kaikota sees this, sees he has a sword. He puts his axe in the ground, which has a metal spear, and he pulls out of a pocket dimension this Emperor Killer Katana. That it, it's a freaking katana. It's basically what it, it's it's a bigger version of the sword. And they slice at each other, but brain is sort of killed. But he decides to put his body in ice to preserve him because he basically respects him as a warrior. And then, here's the thing. You probably think, oh, maybe he would stomp on him, maybe crush the body, maybe, like, walk, like, just to the left right him. No, what he does is interesting. In the book, they point this out, though. What he does, he turns left in the next alleyway, goes up, goes right, and it takes another right, walks completely around Brain, and walks straight to Rob House. And that's the episode ends. I'm like, that's interesting. That he does that. He just, just walks around him. Like, completely around him. He doesn't walk this beside him. He doesn't crush the body. He just walks to play around him. Maybe to preserve him later. It's possible. But we're going to end the season next week, covering probably the last 40 pages of the book. Well, probably, like, well, technically the book is about 43 pages left. Let me take a look here. 
Let's see. Now you might be curious, so is there any like character page is there any like illustrations in these pages that were covered in the episode? No. There wasn't. I'm not really sure if I'm thinking really no normally they would do it, but the pages they adapt didn't have any illustrations. So But I should point out though, this this cover here, uh that's what the armor guy looked like from last week's episode. Mm-hmm. It was mentioned here, but he didn't actually, uh, aside from the flashbacks, he didn't make a physical appearance in the episode. Excuse me. He might make an appearance next week in the final episode of the season. Which, yeah, it was kind of predictable. It's going to be last episode because the first three seasons were 30 episodes, so quite obvious this is going to be the last one. Next one, anyways. Okay, so. That's it for of you, and that's it for videos tonight, because I have no more time to do videos tonight, because I did not get a chance to move. You're probably thinking, Nick, you put up a few video, couple of more videos I have from this one, the Super Sentinel video. Was that videos you planned to do today? Yes, I was planning to do more of oh, of Super, of Go Ranger, and of course, a couple of Comic Corners, and like one other video. But those rest of the videos are going to have to wait until tomorrow, because it's late. It's at 11 o'clock, so I'll probably take it over tomorrow. Okay, next video. Bye.